Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now May 1st of 2021, and ever since the very end of The Mandalorian Season 2's finale, a lot of fans around the world have been very intrigued about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, one thing that we do know about Star Wars right now is that Disney is working on over a dozen Star Wars projects. We got the Bad Batch coming out in around three days from now. It's going to be very exciting. May 4th is going to be a big day. And then beyond that, we've got the Book of Boba Fett releasing this December. So looking forward to that as well. Now, the other thing here that I think a lot of fans are really ramped up for is, of course, the Kenobi TV series because this is actually said to be treated as a direct sequel to Revenge of the Sith. So that's another thing that they really have to get down correctly. I do believe that that TV show is a make or break situation for Disney Star Wars as a whole. However, moving ahead, all right, moving forward when it comes to Star Wars, we do know that Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy is very hard at work on the Acolyte TV series. I've said this countless times that I do believe that the Acolyte TV series is going to be a failure because it's not passionate toward the Star Wars fans. It's not going to be true to the philosophy of Star Wars and what it stands for by George Lucas and so on and so forth. So when we go ahead and examine everything related to Disney Star Wars, obviously the Acolyte TV series is just the beginning of Leslie Headland. Leslie Headland actually wants to create more shows. Whether or not Disney is going to allow that that's all on them. I believe that obviously if this show fails and is not really appreciated by fans, they're not going to take a step further with her. However, there's a lot of problems happening behind the scenes when it comes to the Acolyte TV series, all right? And this all has to do with, once again, Kathleen Kennedy and a Star Wars writer. Now specifically, now that both Disney and Lucasfilm are focused on their new Star Wars universe, it's best described that creators Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are busy creating their new Star Wars projects, such as Mandalorian Season 3 and 4, as well as the Ahsoka Tano TV series for Disney+. However, behind the scenes, Lucasfilm's Kathleen Kennedy has been running into much trouble with the Acolyte TV series for the streaming service. It's best described that Kathleen Kennedy recently fired yet another Star Wars writer for the Acolyte TV series for Disney+, Plus, and that this is causing yet another setback for the series as more rewrites will need to be put into place for the show. Now, this Star Wars writer that got fired was described to have problems with the direction of a new character dubbed Maeve that is set to be portrayed by actress Brie Larson. This character that was being handled by this new Star Wars writer, that was a co-writer, mind you, next to Leslie Headland, wanted to prevent the character from being overpowered in the series, as he believed it was causing the character to be inauthentic and unbelievable to the story. The character Maeve is described to be a Jedi god that was created by the Wills, and that this major development right now that led to the writer's firing was due to him not agreeing with Kathleen Kennedy's direction for the Star Wars character. Kathleen Kennedy is described to have no remorse or regret over firing this writer, however is said to be frustrated since the show is actually looking to be delayed until 2023 on Disney+, Plus, given that more rewrites will have to be done for the TV series. Now it's noted that this series is set to also include a brand new character by Kathleen Kennedy before she leaves on a creative scale this June. So this is a very interesting development because obviously the fact that she fired yet another co-writer of the series, mind you guys that this is going to be labeled as the longest Star Wars TV show so far. They are aiming for 12 episodes, maybe even more than that for this show, depending on how things go. Obviously, to me, that feels way too long for a show that you're just experimenting with, but I can understand as to why they want to make it so long. Keep in mind, it's going to deal with the end of the High Republic era, leading to the surface of new dark side powers and new dark side oriented characters. Now, we've heard countless times, obviously, that Disney and Lucasfilm are treating special care with other TV shows like the Kenobi TV series and Star Wars Ahsoka. Those two shows are the most anticipated ones. Meanwhile, the Acolyte TV series, as a lot of fans are calling it the Hackalite, 
is really not all that appreciated. Two big reasons, and we've talked about this, is that there's going to be major retcons to the prequel trilogy embedded within this TV show. And number two, there's going to be a brand new chosen one that's basically going to erase Anakin Skywalker's prophecy as the chosen one. And that is all geared toward the character of Maeve. The specific writer didn't want that for the character of Maeve. He wanted to shift away from the Chosen One aspect and just strictly focus on her being her own character at will. Now, when we go ahead and look at what's happening right now with the Kenobi TV series, Anakin Skywalker is going to be in the limelight. Anakin is also coming back in the form of animation in other TV shows out there. So that's another thing to look forward to. I'm sure that you guys heard about this. So there's a lot of you know, things happening right now at Star Wars. There really is. More TV shows will be announced this fall, so keep your eyes open for that, as well as more TV shows get, that are going to be announced at Star Wars Celebration of next year. So that's another thing to look forward to. So obviously, when we go ahead and examine what's been going on, you know, with Kathleen Kennedy, she really seems to be self-centered. She doesn't care about the fans. And I think the last straw was when she really made that big statement in that interview saying that there is no source material to pull from when it comes to past stories, basically telling the fans that Star Wars Legends does not exist. All right. So that's basically what she was gearing towards. Star Wars Legends does not exist. And that to me, I think that obviously is just telling us that she knows nothing about Star Wars or that she's deliberately doing that on purpose to the fandom by creating new fans that are not even going to know all that much about Legends. Now thankfully we do have Dave Filoni and Jon Favreau bringing back a handful of Star Wars Legends content that's going to be coming our way into the Disney Plus platform. They're going to be using the Mandalorian series for this. They're going to be using other TV shows like Star Wars Ahsoka and other TV shows that's going to take a lot of you know aspects of legends into those stories so that definitely is a thing to look forward to you know the fact that they are going to be recreating the Thrawn trilogy in multiple different ways that's also another thing to be very excited for Thrawn they're still trying to choose exactly who's going to portray him in the Ahsoka Tano series Ezra Bridger by the way is cast it's said to be Mina Masoud from the Aladdin movie in live action form. So he's gonna be on his way into the Star Wars universe. There's a lot of things coming our way. There's no doubt about it. And honestly, when we look at what Kathleen Kennedy has been doing, it really is not doing anything for the fandom. And this is only gonna create more problems when the Acolyte releases, most likely in 2023, like I say. I've said this countless times. I don't believe that we're even gonna see this TV show next year. It's gonna get delayed. It's looking more and more likely to be 2023, if that. You know, we'll have to even see if it even becomes a TV show. It could get canceled for all we know if there is gonna be countless problems just like this. So, once again, the fact that this show has had countless firings, it just goes to show you that Kathleen Kennedy always runs into creative differences. It's pretty much in her nature. So yeah, guys, you know, like I said before, you know, let me know what you think about all of this below in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.